hope you uh, got your chart in the, in the email. Um, it's uh, the song selection for this week is Coconut by Harry Nielsen. Um, it is an interesting tune because it is technically a single chord song, although um, the chart that I sent out had some um, some stuff that we can do on it that will be fun. Uh, mainly, um, I've got uh, the strum pattern on it, which is a one and a two and a three and a four, and then secondly, the um, the chord placement in the progression of the C to the C7. So we technically have two chords in there if you want to play them. The song is mostly in C7. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, rhythm. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I have a looper here and I'm going to attempt to do um, loop in some of the stuff that will allow us to play this. As you can see I don't have my band as I am following the rules of the, uh, the uh, in-home um, uh, sequestering, I call it. But anyways, um, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're getting out and uh, enjoying. But um, we're going to try and do more of this later so um, we can actually um, um, wait for the all clear, as I say. So um, thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Um, this is The uh, Coconut by Harry Nielsen. So first thing I want to do is I want to tell you how the, um, the C to C7 works. Okay, I'm playing upside down. This is not a selfie version. So when you're on the C, which sounds like this, that's gonna go, um, so on the one and the two, one and the two is when you move it. So I go one and a two. So um, I'll set a little pace for us, a little um, rhythm. We'll see if I can get the looper working. We'll give it a go here, right? So I'll count us in um, with the uh, with the with a mute strum. Okay. 